Hi, I'm Brian Chan. And I'm Teresa Guo. We're at the Hatsopolis Microfluids Lab at MIT. Uh, this is where we do a lot of fluid dynamics experiments. My group, who works for Peko Hosoi, studies a lot of the different types of locomotion through different fluids. Um, so today we're going to show you the Hoverbot. It's something that me and Brian built together to mimic the hovering motion of insects and birds. Um, so here we have a dragonfly and a hummingbird. Both are very good hoverers, but they hover in a slightly different way. The hummingbird, when it hovers, it hovers by moving its wings along a horizontal axis. This is the way most insects hover, and it's also more like the way a helicopter hovers as well. The dragonfly, on the other hand, hovers using a more diagonal axis that has both a horizontal and a vertical component. What we want to know is which hovering method is more effective. Why, Teresa, is that the hovering bot? Why, Brian, yes it is. Why don't you tell us more about it? So, this is the hover bot. Um, let me explain how it works. You have a motor here that basically turns a simple crank mechanism to flap the wings up and down. Now, there's also a secondary mechanism here that tilts the wing at the right angle as it flaps. And we can adjust this to flap more like a dragonfly or a hummingbird. That's pretty cool. But does it actually fly? Unfortunately, the hoverbot does not actually fly. However, we can measure the force that it generates, and that's all you need. So what's the long bar for? Uh, I'm glad you asked. The long bar is uh, so that we can mount this robot on a seesaw and when it flaps, it lifts up. And by measuring how much it lifts up, you can measure how much force it's generating. Let's go uh, run some experiments. Sounds good. the way that dragonflies hover generates a little bit more lift per stroke than the way that hummingbirds hover, but only by a little bit. Uh, so maybe that's why nature made both. Well, thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more discoveries from Hestopolis Microfluids Lab.